There are more than 7 billion people around the globe, all unique in their own way and at the same time collectively part of our global interactions. As diverse as our cultures may be, we all share the natural resources of our planet and we directly depend on the balance of nature to thrive as a species. To support such a vast and growing population on our planet, we have transformed landscapes to our own benefit, compromising the ecosystem's balance and life support systems in nature. The huge demand for fresh products from urban areas forces farmers around the globe to intensively work the land to yield higher production levels, which eventually require a larger area of arable land and resource intake, such as water and fossil fuels. Livestock in this context represents the major threat from agriculture towards the environment. Livestock, which commonly refers to poultry, cattle, swine, sheep, goats and other animals, requires the largest input of agricultural efforts and natural resources to be produced. Livestock is one of the main drivers for deforestation in the world, either for grazing or for fodder and feed production. The major forestry impact can be seen in rainforest regions such as the Amazonian jungles, where the landscape is aggressively transformed due to the production of grains and greens for local and overseas livestock production. Livestock requires large amounts of water to be produced. Water is diverted from rivers or taken from underground sources to support herds, either directly for drinking requirements or indirectly for irrigating the fodder production. Livestock has a second severe impact on water as one of the major sources for inland water pollutants. The conventional fodder production increases fertilizers and pesticides in the water systems. Manure management produces high concentrations of nitrates, antibiotics and hormones. Chemicals from tanneries and other production processes contribute to the high water footprint of livestock products, causing severe environmental damage due to water pollution and high withdrawal rates. Livestock also has a severe impact on the atmosphere of our planet. In the year 2013, it was calculated that livestock produces 5% of carbon dioxide. 44% of methane and 53% of nitrous oxide of all man-made emissions. Conventional livestock farming practices focus largely on higher output yields rather than on the welfare and natural cycles of animals. Dairy production, for example, has migrated from farms into industrial facilities where animals are no longer allowed to graze on the open fields and are fed with crops from overseas. Confining livestock may result in stressed animals with poor life quality, requiring antibiotics to fight diseases and hormone treatments to increase production yields. If not properly managed, livestock production could cripple the life support systems of our biosphere and therefore compromise our survival and that of all the other living beings sharing our planet. Conventional farming has become a difficult and unsustainable practice where resources are rapidly consumed without the chance for ecosystems to regenerate. However, alternative practices with a focus on the natural cycles of specific local environments may present a sustainable solution. Free-range grazing practices can be improved with holistically planned grazing scheduling, where natural migration patterns of animals are mimicked, allowing natural cycles to restore the grazed areas. Further improvement can be achieved if the topography, biodiversity, hydrology and vegetation of the local conditions are studied. This creates a different approach where land is given a specific purpose within a multi-purpose productivity plan. Planning for such an approach takes considerable efforts, combining agroforestry, water erosion control, terracing and holistic grazing, along with a deep understanding of ecosystem functionality and productivity. Switching our production paradigms from a single product perspective into a holistic ecosystem managing scheme could potentially restore our damaged soils, reactivate water cycles, increase farming productivity and promote a sustainable approach for rural development. A collective effort is required to take a stand against the deterioration of our soils and ecosystems.